I have a long history with Goodwill that some people may not know about. When I first went to college at age 17, I met who is now my husband, and uh, one of our very first dates had to do with going to Goodwill. Now, a lot of our dates meant going to Goodwill or, or somewhere like that, but I didn't know those places existed. I grew up in a family of four, the youngest child. My clothes were handmade by my mother or hand-me-downs, and I never went to a store when shopping. And so when we went to Goodwill, it was so exciting. It was amazing. I could actually go shopping. Well, that was my first experience with Goodwill and, and have always shopped at Goodwill in every community I've ever lived in. But then I found out that Goodwill is so much more than that. And that's when I, I just really was so passionate about Goodwill and the mission of Goodwill. Because I really see the connection between the community college and what we're doing. Sometimes we're a first chance for students. Sometimes we're a second chance. Sometimes we're a third or fourth chance. Students that may not have resources to go to another school, um, may not have realized they could go to college, or they're taking care of a family and they just need to come take one class at a time. We just serve so many amazing different kinds of students and I found out we have this great partnership with Goodwill. And I think we do a lot of different things. One of the ones that has worked so well is our apartment maintenance program that really puts people to work. And that's so important to the mission of the community college that we are here to help students um, find their opportunities, find their passions, what it is that they love in life and that they enjoy doing. And I'm so proud to get to be a part of Goodwill and a part of what is, is, is all working together in a community to make that happen. Thank you, Goodwill. I love this opportunity to be a part of you and to be serving our communities as part of Goodwill and as part of Coconino Community College.